so hopefully we're back and um, yeah, aroha mai. Uh, I don't charge my phone enough today. Anyway, that was not possible. I'm not going to know because we'll edit it out. Ah, there we go. We'll edit all this out too. Cool. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, yeah, I guess just in relation to yeah, what, what I was talking about um, with uh, with terms of like tikanga and 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 kind of like the identity process and what I've noticed since I've been back. Um, yeah, that, that's I guess where I've like found my passion um, with within university in terms of health uh, because a lot of the um, corridor you guys have shared with me today as well um, has been very relevant to just not just me but also we'll say things that have happened in my father's life maybe or um, experiences like that that I know may have altered our relationship even um, as father and son um, things like that you know and uh, I think just Jesse in particular with your um, corridor bro. Um, uh, something that's uh, quite hard, quite hard for me to talk about, if I'm honest, bro. Um, I, I hope that some of my my Irish mate, my Irish friends, I guess, are out there and they're listening to this at the moment, um, because this is this is definitely a, a corridor um, I want to share with people, bro, and um, uh, just to try and relate to you here a little bit with with who you are and where you're from. Um, you know, it's this this kind of um, stigma and and the uh, that's just what was um, expected, or, or I guess of um, stereotypes, and I guess along those lines is where I'm going, bro. You know, mm -hmm. um, um, a lot of people who, d who I guess don't know me outside of um, you know academia life or whatever, um, uh, and I guess that I'm not saying anyone in particular or anything, but I guess just society in general is kind of um, I've been told a lot, uh, quite a few times that you know I've talked to people and they've said. Oh, I thought you were kind of, you know, up yourself or something before that or, or X, Y, and Z, you know, um, which we'll get to in a, in a little bit, but just in terms of kind of the relevance to your conversation, Jesse, is is that um, that was a lot of my life I spent in Ireland, bro. You know, it was um, because of my lack of core waikwe and all waikwe, um, I felt on, honestly that um, I was being, like, misunderstood almost a lot of the time with my friends. Um, yeah, like... It was a pretty hard time going through school, you know, it was almost like uh, growing up in um, a society that was one way um, in terms of uh, this was my, the reality of what it was like inside the doors of my house in terms of um, uh, family vibe, family discipline, family tikanga, family everything, you know, and kind of um, very relatable as well, bro, to what you say about going from those different worlds is that for me, man, like a lot of what I try to combat in, in my life in particular was, holy crap, like what a, what is it that's inside me? You know what I mean? Like what mm. what is um, what is that energy and what is that? Um, why is it that I'm always questioning myself? Like that my friends don't want to hang around with me as much, or I'm always the person calling them and they're not calling me as much, and am I beating myself up because of that reason? Because they're not as um, you know as as um, uh, communicative as we'll say is what I am in terms of like do you want to go do things today mm -hmm. you know um, so th that, that again bro is um, essential, and, uh, the essential element that I just I struggled a lot with and I wish I had that to help me navigate through Irish society and life because um, a real heartwarming experience and um, again I hope that at least some of my mates who are living in that 18 person house I think we lived in in, in Vancouver <laughs> when I lived there um, um, for, for me personally on that holiday it was my first time actually I guess jumping into um, uh, this big group of guys you know who will say I might have only seen in micro doses or individually or whatever you know and now I've, um, uh, I've, I've committed myself to a, 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 a flight to North America to go and live with these guys you know mm. and in the back of my head I was thinking to myself all the time like this is obviously something I want to do it's it's also like the but then there was also the side of me that was just like um, am I gonna am I putting myself in a good environment here mm. like um, mm. I don't even know if these guys like me that much you know and mm. and that's just the reality of it bro um, you know I've, I've, I've been those people who turn around and say you know like oh, I thought you were a bit more of an asshole or I thought you were a bit more this or you were that like it's why did you ever think that of me? You know, man, like you don't know what I've been through in my life, you know. Um, 
from you again to go back to it. I uh, uh, may have not have respected a korero in the past, so I tried to have you with you and I tried to air it out. Um, there's there's just these little missing patterns, bro, and little pieces of the puzzle that we've kind of um, lost. Um, lost you know lost within society in itself you know and um, I guess like in terms of that holiday uh, um, yeah it was that um, I felt bro like and uh, this is clearly something that I built up in my own head was um, almost like what you say in terms of like Māori and that was just a stereotype that was just attached to them you know mm. I thought my one in, in school um, even though people might have thought I, I was the complete opposite, like I dressed a certain way or whatever, um, I'll tell you what right now, bro. Um, it, uh, there's no, there's no way of sugarcoating this or trying to uh, dramatize it for the sake of this podcast or anything, bro. But there were just times where I honestly thought to myself, like I'm just one of the loofs of the gang, you know. I'm just like a, mm. I'm kind of that guy that um, is kind of uh, there. But I mean, uh, does anyone like actually? give a shit about what I say like or anything or, or um, I was almost like I've changed my conversation and beliefs just for the sake of fitting into a certain thing you know mm. and I, um, I guess um, kind of to, to, to just follow through with that bro is that um, the, the big thing for me was uh, just understanding that bro and understanding that there were um, almost like positions and categories within society that people had people in you know mm. and, and, and that's again to relate back to this Maori history, New Zealand history, and and especially talking to you guys and hearing the different, you know, the different feedback, the different perspectives, is 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 kind of something that sticks out to me now when I think about it. I think, oh, well, I wonder what's happened in his life or what's happened in their life, but how society treated them, you know what I mean, and mm. and how fair has society treated them in terms of have they given them equal opportunities for education? And no, I'm not just talking about a number of classes and things of like that. I'm talking about the the um, innate passions, the innate talents, the innate intrinsic um, dynamics that those people have within them, right, that have to, again, adapt to systems that will say don't have te reo Māori, that don't have um, waka ama, that don't have um, certain aspects of te ao, uh, te ao Māori or, te, um, or the Māori culture in general, and um, the, the, some of these opportunities have kind of almost been lost in, in history, so, so all I'm trying to say here, I guess, to the listeners, that if you just just notice this pattern of, of um, respect, knowledge, and, and kind of this, this overarching pattern of um, uh, of how we interact with individuals in general and, and how we can actually make our life a whole lot easier just by respecting and actually listening to other people, you know what I mean? Um, mm. and, and, and although that may just be hard to fathom for a lot of people, um, to like, you know, they just, I don't really want to listen to them, they're just dumb. Okay, well, Okay, well, if that's your point of view and that's your kind of like way of thinking of life in general, then um, I don't have the same respect for you as a person, unfortunately, to, to articulate any of my ideas to you then, because why? You know what I mean? Yeah, um, well, so. yeah so, but, but, but don't get me wrong, if you were to sit here with me and we can discuss the concept of a reciprocal conversation where we listen and talk to each other and just establish that from the get go that this is what we're here for, um, then, bro, like, like again, it's not like who leaves the room last or whatever or anything like that, bro. It's like I think there's just a genuine art of corridor that can just be brought to the table. We need to just resurface the simplicity of that. Mm-hmm. And I feel like if we start to reiterate that to a lot of people and just talk about just the beauty of, for example, me just being able to relate to certain aspects of your guys' lives and stuff like that and almost have my own perspective on it in a way, but mm-hmm. also being very relatable in a way, you know. Um, yeah, I guess... That's, that's just a, a story I guess I just um, wanted to share with you guys because, um, yeah, um, me, myself, personally, I don't get angry, I don't get negative towards those types of comments, but um, just important to know that, yeah, like, I too, as confident as I, might, uh, I may speak on this, on a, a platform like this, I've had some serious, serious vulnerabilities in my life, man, you know, mm. and um, I guess they've kind of helped me, mould me into the person I am today. You know, yeah. and, and, and the fact that I've able to being being able to resurface Māori Dim again in my life and, and, and those things that maybe did stray a little bit, my tikka and whatnot, and I'm able to kind of almost clean those back up again and like kind of just restructure myself and, and find that that inner um, uh, spiritual health, I guess, um, is what I'd call it, you know, the inner spiritual health that I have um, encompassing all of my aspects of well-being and 
within that. And I noticed that I'm upholding that um, each ele uh, um, element of older Māori, my, my, my Māori health, then, then I know that um, I should be, you know, um, regardless of what society I'm in, I should be able to just navigate my way through, you know. Mm. Um, and I don't know, um, these are just things that I guess, yeah, I could say, these are thoughts of mine that I just think are just very val valuable to share, especially in, in a society like New Zealand and, and the history. Um, the history that breaks my heart because um, we will talk about that in future videos. Um, I, don't, I just think it's so important. I think without that key information or that key understanding about what's happening um, historically in this country that you're never going to have the understanding with people there. Mm. Mm. Um, and those who think they know what happened or who know what happened or, or, or whatever it may be, it's how those people articulate what they know. Um, it's how... Um, those people interpreting the knowledge uh, are able to actually just say, okay, mm. I've learned this for the last 20 years of my life. Um, there's someone coming at to me here with a fresh perspective. At least, at least, if you, even if you're not going to take anything away from it, just give the person a listen to. Mm. It's all we're asking, you know what I mean? Um, mm. um, and if you're failing to just give that acknowledgement of, hey, um, you know, yeah, I'm listening, okay, whatever, there we go, we could go from there, you know, mm -hmm. and, that, and that's just it, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Thank you, bro. Um, mm. Thanks for sharing your, your story with us, bro. Like, you know, it is a bit of an eye-opener, but mm. I guess something I took from that, bro, is just, um, like, somewhere along the line, we just lost little things, eh? Like, little important things, like, um, especially when you're talking or, like, someone else is talking to you is just giving them that respect to listening like you're not trying to talk over the top of them and I find a lot of the time like um, especially nowadays you kind of feel like you can't get your point across unless you talk over someone but you know just little tickling I like that brain man um, just getting lost um, and like especially with like I don't know like it might be different for you it might be different for you too um, Jess but growing up you just had these little comments that would just crush you eh? like you know like um, harden up bro like it's not the end of the world or you know and like it's kind of like they're not acknowledging or whoever said those comments is not acknowledging that what you're going through mm. and then like how are you supposed to be confident enough to open up about those core little mm. and then if you surround yourself um, in that environment enough that starts becoming who you are mm -hmm. You know, so you don't want to open up to anyone because you don't feel comfortable opening up to anyone because all you know or you, or you've been told is that you're pretty insignificant and you like who are you supposed to open up to mm. and like if, even if you did people might just laugh at you mm. and like there's always going to be that fear of rejection bro um, or that fear of just like being shut down again you know so it does take like like I said like some nuts to firstly open up about it so that's why I just wanted to thank you um doing that bro because you know it's that's not an easy thing mm. it's not as easy as people think it is um i know a lot of like the comments growing up you know instead of like them shutting you down bro they they're sort of just like little motivators eh, to just be like oh one day i'm going to prove you wrong like you know and mm. this is going to be a reality mm. it's like and i find that with men uh, in particular bro like we're more feminine than we like to admit you know <laughs> <laughs> that's just being honest that's just being honest yeah. like um, yeah. it's very gone are the days where you're trying to be the toughest cousin on the block it's, all shit, it's, yeah. it's like man that's not going to help anyone you know, mm. if you don't talk about or acknowledge these um, topics these kaupapa that men do go through you know like then they're going to spend their whole lives believing this lie you know mm. not believing in themselves not believing they can do anything about it and I guess like yeah bro for me that came from my origin so I had to I had to go home I was sick and tired of people, especially myself, like doubting myself to achieve all these things. And I'm not saying I'm the man, because like you know, um, it's, it's just being like uh, aware or alert to these things. You know. So yeah, bro, it's interesting to hear your quarter, brother. Um, just about being surrounded in the world where Māori we treat it as the, well, the bad guys, eh? Because mm. it can like make you feel like. Oh no, I don't want to. I don't want to be like that. Mm. Or at the same time, like, nah, my dad's like this, you know. Yeah, like, yeah my, my so dad's well be like that. Yeah. I've yeah. I've got to like you know uphold that side, but mm. then at the same time, like having this internal conflict at such a young age, you know, that's the thing, yeah, bro. Like from there, it's just you know it develops. Yeah, and it shapes does, you. Yeah, 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 it does, bro. It takes a lot to get away from it. Yeah, 
Yeah, for sure. And, and um, I guess, yeah, again, like uh, something with a um, with a perspective of mine and coming back and, and acknowledging that we've got some of the highest youth um, suicide rates yep. in the entire world. Um, so, I mean, I'm not going to be one to sit here and use this platform as someone we're going to jump to conclusions here. Um, I'm just simply going to try and contextualise what we've what we've discussed here, and, and in terms of what you've just dis discussed here, bro, you know, and and uh, I guess like you really have to acknowledge, bro, and understand that um, um, whatever even about that person who has shown up to the school or shown up to their job, um, like what's going on in that person's head, bro, you know, like uh, like that in a dialect that you're saying, the kind of questions that you're always asking yourself, am I good enough? Am I, you know, X Y Z? That those are questions that have have kind of almost led ourselves to. Um, convince ourselves in our own inner dialect, in our own dialogue, in our own head to say I'm not good enough, you know. And I just can't, I can't fathom that, bro. You know, like uh, I can't, I can't uh, uh, accept that. Like society is letting this kind of stuff happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, I really can't. Like I just, <laughs> uh, it, like I say, man. Um, I kind of almost have to like keep reiterating this, and that, and that's that perspective of coming back, man. Like you know, and just seeing things. I feel like, again, like, what's actually happening outside the door here, guys? Like, hold on, have we actually have we actually sat and talked about this? And like, yeah. I know that we've kind of just become accustomed to certain things, but um, no, like I think there's really important dialogue we need to have around things because I, I personally myself, you know, I you know studying public health papers and whatnot is that. I mean, like, um, why are we looking at things we'll say, like, health disparity things that Māori and Pacifica are at the lower decile rates yeah. um, every single year, you know? So, so what I'm trying to, the, the reason why I bring up something like that is that, you know, there are these real-life situations going on outside the door, right? These people who need um, aroha, who need, they want to respect you because they want some respect themselves, you know? that like, there's these people out here looking for these types of things who inevitably find themselves in these scenarios where they're mm. going down these paths in life, you know, bro, and, and it's it's just, it's very saddening, and I, I just hope that almost kind of um, people listening to this can um, almost hold society accountable for a lot of the stuff that's happening, because uh, um, in no way am I saying that, like, I know, or, or that's the way it is, or, or anything like that, I, I'm just saying that um, from someone who believes quite uh, like hardly in, in fairness and equity bro um what i see outside every day and and these things that you allude to about losing connection and whatnot um these are just real life processes that i think people need to instead of waiting for the next iphone to come out in six months we could like prioritize maybe people's lives over that mm -hmm. um and and like you know understand that like there's only so many megapixels a camera can develop over time and and you can we can talk about that and get sick of the next phone camera after the next two months or we can actually like start proper dialogue about proper things that matter, bro, and actually get people's lives enhanced, mm. you know. Mm. And and yeah, it's, so. inter it's interesting you mention that, bro, because like I've always had a thing ever since I got to uni. It's just like, um, and this is a whittle to a lot of people, eh? um, is that sometimes I walk into flats, bro, and I'll just sit down and be like, how's your, how's your day going, bro? And half the time they're just looking at a screen, eh? yeah. or with a laptop, or with a phone, and I find even find that at home, even with my cousins there, and I'm just like. That was the other thing, eh? like the realization when I went home, bro. It's mm. like they went like that when you pick up the tea towel, bro. It's just like you got no choice but to talk to one another, eh? Mm -hmm. Otherwise, that's just gonna be one boring time drying dishes. Mm -hmm. But you know, like just little things like that that take your they take you away from the people who are right next to you, eh? And put you yeah, in this bro. different I don't mm -hmm. know space, mm -hmm. eh, bro. So I can completely vibe with that, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's like it's like if we are trying to like start communicating properly that's like one of the like biggest things like our phones there eh? like you can't talk to someone for like more than mm. a minute yeah. without them being like oh yeah, check, bro. yeah mm. like, checking their phones and shit mm. and it's wild man and like people yeah like it's so crazy just watching anyone have a conversation these days like they're not really present hey eh? it's mm. like people aren't listening to anything you're saying they're like waiting for yeah. the next thing to happen or they're waiting to say something yeah. we, we, we've gotten to a point bro um from what you're on there where, where it's like the norm to discuss things about how we can't multitask and take the piss out of ourselves because we can't respect a conversation properly mm -hmm. 
Okay, so like the, um, that's just a very, sorry, that's just a very, um, uh, might be a blanket statement for a lot of people, yeah. bro, but yeah. um, I think it's, I think it holds quite true as well, you yeah. know. Um, and I think yeah. like if we go back to like the identity thing as well, um, the way we, the way we talk to people and treat each other in like conversational situations for a lot of people depends on their identity can affect, can like it de determines how they approach a conversation, mm -hmm. you know, like a, um, like a big strong man will just, you know, talk over a, a woman, you know, cause that's his, his big thing in society, yeah, like yeah, a lot of society, yeah, that's yeah. his mm -hmm. big macho thing, like, mm -hmm. um, yeah, a young a young person that like gets told to like stop, like to harden up and shit when he's feeling something when he's trying to communicate he gets told to shut up so he, you know he um. Yeah, how did I get to that? He, he just kind of almost like falls into that spot of just kind of okay, well my my opinion doesn't matter then like you know mm -hmm. it's almost mm -hmm. yeah it's mm -hmm. like a default bro yeah like, you know you go back to that it's just like okay that's what I was told when I was little so that's mm. what I'm gonna go back to and that's how mm. I'm gonna react in that mm. situation and so he doesn't learn how to communicate mm. at all then so yeah yep yeah man oh yeah how old are mm. um I wanna I wanna um, introduce a concept to um a lot of the viewers and listeners today I think bro and um uh this is kind of to to um channel a lot of the corridor that we've had so far um and and that that is um, to refer back to the the title of the whole podcast, where that's mm -hmm. Te Um So I want to um, I guess just portray a bit of a message that I feel my my koro, um, is constantly urging me to go <laughs> and uh, yeah articulate to other people around the place. Um, and that is um, yeah the concept around hora Māori and 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 just health in general. Okay, so we've we've brought up a couple of things here that have you know we've talked about that have affected things like a mental physical health and, and whatnot you know um so i guess um now we've now we've um we've laid the platform i guess for um understanding that there, there there's a certain level of respect that needs to um take place between two people of conversation um even more so for the masses right mm -hmm. um we've talked about how ideological structures and ideals around um yeah things like uh, religion, beliefs, um, schooling, all these type of things, right, and how they can also influence, like, someone's life uh, extremely as well, you know, so you've got these, um, I guess, like, different uh, influences that we've we've discussed in our own personal experiences, and I want to um, develop on this topic of um, te kākano that my koro um, made in his health models uh, to, to all of us right now, you know, and just kind of, like, try and contextualize what we what it is we're actually trying to talk about here with the viewers you know and maybe illustrate some stuff metaphorically um here but hopefully um this is like a relatable um topic of discussion for a lot of people and i just want to highlight a bit of importance around it um so um i think the time's come enough long enough into the podcast now where um i'm i'm kind of just becoming more and more comfortable talking about koro you know uh mm. Yeah, um, there's a lot of um, uh, emotion around my grandfather, I think, when I first came back here in New Zealand. And now um, I know he's here with me, and I know that he's um, kind of almost encouraging me to, to carry forward this message. Mm -hmm. you know? um, um, so, yeah, just um, just want to acknowledge my grandfather, man. Like, oh, boy, man. So... So with Takakano, um, uh, he always used to be one of those people, bro, for very simple, illustrative, metaphorical descriptions of things, you know. Something I always used to say, like, how did you relate that to that, or how did you like, <laughs> you know? But it um, always made sense. Always made sense, bro. Some way, um, some way it made sense to me, and yeah. Um, my grandfather's health on on uh sorry my grandfather's um perspective on health bro uh have helped me just oh my god <laughs> it just helped me so much man since i've been on this um journey of embracing maori and in this this um tertiary journey that i'm on to tertiary education so um with that um and being a i guess like a public health 
um, education student, physical education student, um, his concepts and a lot of his law and, and, and stories he used to tell me as kid as a kid, you know, like start to make a little bit more sense, you know, um, mm. in terms of, of his health models and his taonga or his treasures that he's left kind of behind after his death um, mm. in 2013 and now I'm resurfacing them as his Irish Māori um, wako who's, you know, ended up in university. So it's, it's a surreal pattern now it's ended up that way. Um, nevertheless, a, a um, something that I'm just so, 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 so passionate about and I mentioned that in my post the other day is just health in general. So I just want to offer this to you guys and see what your corridor is like um, back and forth um, in terms of um, te kākamo. So te kākamo for anyone listening is um, a translation of um, in Māori of the seed. Um, so um, with Māori health and I guess we can relate to this as tauira of, of, of of Māori health um, is that we um, we learn about our four pillars of health and um, the four aspects of health you know uh, taha tinana uh, physical aspects uh, taha heningaro uh, mental aspects taha whānau our family and taha wāru our spiritual um, elements okay so all encompassing um, once we've um, acknowledged that those four arenas of our health are, are there um, how can we almost nurture those um, elements to encumbrous an overall um, concept of well-being right you know like to live a happier life you know it's just put it, yeah. put it simple you know yeah. um, erase some negativity from your life some some drama be one of those people you know deflect it deflect it off and don't let it affect you you know so um, te kākano is a very 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 sentimental um, uh, um, tongue of mine that I've been given from Koro and it's just a, a seriously seriously exciting time to be able to share this with everyone so within those four aspects of health um i guess in terms of um what koro did as a counselor when when he was uh when he was working um he was able to um i guess use his maori te ao maori um uh views i guess on on uh like what it was to be healthy you know like what what do i actually need to look out for in my life to be healthy and metaphorically speaking it's it's and it, i just get it i get it very 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 easily and he's he's centered the the health um or the the elements of health and maori health around um an embryonic seed mm -hmm. you know um so regardless of what what um uh platform you're listening from or whatever by the the concept of just a, a seed in general and no noticing that seeds need nourishment you know it's uh that's a uh these are surely a, a you know a, a very communal um, yeah. concept to be able to relate to so 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 with that um so i'll uh, just discuss a couple of things like your like for me um things that i've become more aware of is um yeah my um taha whanau in particular will say you know my family um my new um not my new family i guess but my distant family they were distant for 18 years and i've come back um I've been able to thrive in those relationships in my whānau, you know, um, um, I've got caught in some things, I've been able to help with some things and um, I guess just um, understanding that um, family for me I guess was, was a big thing back in Ireland of if my, fa my family were arguing or my parents were arguing I'd run out of the house or like I want to get away from it. Um, understanding that I've got to nurture those relationships around me in order for me to actually feel that energy back from them um, is a big thing I've just come to grips with. So. Um, calling my grandmother up, you know, like every week, more than, you know, things like this, just, I guess, just like staying in touch with whānau, um, and, and always kind of keeping that healthy, you know what I mean, show those people respect like we've already talked to, um, and, and kind of look after that side of your health, and, and in relation to, um, I guess, to kākamo from my grandfather's perspective in the drug and alcohol um, counselling arenas that, um, Taha Fano had a huge role to play in a, in a um, uh, client's um, life, I guess, in terms of what is it that's happened in your Taha Fano mm -hmm. that has, I guess, like affected the nourishment of that seed that you planted in the flower bed when you were born, you know? Mm -hmm. um, were there just weeks and days and months where that seed just wasn't getting any nourishment, you know? And, and um, metaphorically speaking, I'm talking about things like. Uh, bites and households and, and whatnot and those things that can actually really affect your growth as a kid growing up, you know. Mm. Um, I again can attest that um, 
quite strongly, bro, and relate to that quite strongly, you know, and I've seen the, the effects that that can have. Um, and, you know, I guess, like, Tahatina and I, always, like, knowing myself, like, being into training and, and whatnot, and always um, having that element of my life that always felt like, you know, even if I miss two days of training, I'm like, oh, crap, you know, like, I need to go train three times now tomorrow just to make up for a type thing, you know? Um, but I guess, like, not even... I guess my, my perspective in general on health is, is now um, fitness, like um, ta, ta, tenana in particular, is that I just understand that it doesn't necessarily mean that I've got to be a certain weight or be a certain um, look a certain way or anything. It's more so like how that fits into the grand scheme of things for my overall health, you know. Mm. Um, if I've had like a real stressful week with university and um, I haven't been to the gym or I haven't gone training or been for a run and things like that, um, that not necessarily it's because oh, I'm going to put on weight that week or whatever. It's it's not that. It's just think about the concept of um, missing a piece of a puzzle or things like that. You, like you can't complete the process without mm. acknowledging and, and giving certain things attention, you know. And so, yeah, tenana, I guess for me um, and my interpretation of it at the moment is just how uh, my life has changed exponentially in the last three years because I'm back to being a student now again. But mm. looking at training as not being something that's getting me through kind of my social life or what people think of me but more so um, I'm having a stressful time in my life or things are like kind of just going on um, I start identifying things that have just like escaped my whole Māori and I'm kind of thinking oh well yeah that makes sense you know some, something's a little bit off because I've only trained once this week I usually go five or whatever it is you know and things like that so I guess like balance bro is what I'm kind of like looking at there with Tahi Tēnana um, Tahi Hiningaro was like a real a real um, important concept too because um, it was part of my grandfather's narco diagram where he talked about the hut so he, he drew like a very simple um, illustrative method of drawing someone's head from a side profile um, you could see a tube going from their throat um, and then a tube going from their nose so um, uh, all that was simply to do was just illustrate the channels of um, where we let things into our lives that I guess disrupt the homeostasis so drink, drugs, smoke um, all that stuff you know these things that alter our life and um, so I guess in terms of like understanding the concept of uh, um, tahi or to, to make like a uh, make it relevant to like all the people listening is that um, you got to like be aware almost um, you know if you're someone who likes to go out and binge on the weekends if you like to go drinking with your mates all the time or whatever you like to get up to you know it's um, there's, there's a there's a channel constantly in your life I feel that tells you um, you know do what your heart's telling you or how, how often do you hear you know like damn why like my mind's telling me this but my heart's telling me to do x y and z okay yeah. so um, often a lot of times bro a lot like uh, I feel just personally my perspective on it is that I feel like those people have will say had an addiction on something or, or whatever it may be um, it's because of their their inability to escape um we'll say like the rut that they're in or the counseling session that they're at at that time it's like it's hard for them to escape that rut because um like how would you say like it, it's they can't um they can't make sense of like what like what their mind or their heart wants to tell like their natural instinct i guess or whatever you want to call it and that's simply because things have been disrupting that passage that, you know, Koro would have just illustrated those tubes going from your neck and your mouth. Um, like, you got to understand, like, the interference of, of what those substances or things like that can have on your overall mental function and whatnot, you know? So so I guess, like, uh, in, in terms of, like, self-awareness and whatnot, is just, you know, if you're, if you're somebody who likes to go out, binge drink with your mates every weekend and stuff, whatever it may be, um, um, or... or depending on what you're learning in school or, or things like this, like, um, kind of almost look at, uh, like, the brain or, or what you take into your head as, like, a diet with food, you know, and, like, um, it's almost, I saw this on a podcast the other day of, um, if you're constantly um, surrounding yourself with hearing negative things or you're constantly surrounding yourself with um, uh, something you're not enjoying at school and or, like, whatever it may be, um, you're going through the paces of that, then you're, like... You're, 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 you're never going to find, like, we'll say, your your passion or your love or things like that because there's always just things that are just interfering that pathway, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. How can I find um, uh, 
what my heart's telling me to do when I'm spending four days of the week um, on the piss with my mates at uni or I'm doing things like that and I'm trying to get my life together and I'm trying to do all this. It's just like, um, understand what you're doing to your body first and foremost, mm-hmm. you know, um, and try and, uh, I guess, like to look after that aspect of health from, again, from my perspective would be, um, it was almost kind of trying to um, gain that self, self-control self and that self-awareness of yourself um, in terms of heading out or because, you know, if you just think about it, um, real simply, you know, this thing up here makes you walk and talk and, and do all your bodily functions and movements throughout the day. So if, if this is murky up here or there's channels that are uh, affecting this kind of process up here that's going to try and help you through things, then what do you expect? You know what I mean? So um, I guess the, that, that that particular illustration of it um, comes a lot from, from Koro's uh, background in counselling, you know, and that's how I was able to make sense of that when I was studying it. It was just... just um, and it doesn't always have to be in relation to drugs and alcohol, cutting that connection, you know. That cutting of connection can be a loss of connection in general in itself, or it can be, um, uh, yeah, like I say, like constantly negative information, or um, again, like education systems, uh, reading and expecting to just know everything about a certain thing and never being able to broaden your horizons outside of that type of thing, you know. So, da- so, so education and what you intake every single day like almost like your diet can have like a lot of effects on on all the other aspects of your health you know so um it's a very kind of intricate thing to discuss to like a a person with new ears to this type of like philosophy but um i guess like in general it's just um uh in relation to taha waito like the last the last um, element of health is and what i've been able to make sense of is like I've almost got to like build up my other areas and make sure those other areas of my life are receiving that same nourishment or like equal attention in order for me to like have that spiritual connection where I feel like I can almost take a, a step back from society and like uh, my friends and whatnot and all these things that are happening and actually just be like all these, there's all these crazy things going on outside my door at the moment I kind of like got a little bit going on myself I might just sit at home and chill and just work through this thing myself and you know whatever um, so your self-awareness and self-confidence and whatnot can kind of almost be built up in, in, in a way like that. Um, and so, yeah, I guess, uh, again, it's just over-encompassing. Taha Wairua um, is, is something that, yeah, I, I feel like I operate at that level a lot these days in terms of um, I like to think that I keep myself maintained in my other aspects of health. And when I'm at that level, that's when I can start, like, talking almost to my Wairua and thinking you know what's next you know like what is um like this podcast you know like it was like a i'm on this vibe i'm on this env- i'm in this environment now um now that i'm in touch with wairua um and the fact that i've got there is only because i've ticked the other things off um now i can start talking in a dialogue to myself bro and it can just you can just have these beautiful conversations with yourself man like i came up with this idea of doing this podcast about this stuff in particular um, just through university and, and kind of having time to myself to just reflect on things, you know, so, yeah. I don't know. Thoughts on that about the um, Paura Māori, I guess, in general and, and kind of what your, yeah, I guess, like, what your interpretation is, Jesse, and I know Hami Ora and I will have, like, a somewhat similar because of our degree, bro, right? but, um, yeah, but... Um, what, are my, what are my thoughts on Paura Māori? Um... I think it's, I think it makes perfect sense, mm. like, um, yeah, like, it's hard to, like, be anything or become anything or be able to process how to treat any day mm. if, um, you don't have any of those things, like, all aligned because you're just going to be spending all your time, like, trying to either d- figure out these things and fix them or find ways to avoid having to think about them or and fix them so um so I, I think it, ma- it makes a lot of sense and I love the um I love the seed analogy and how um yeah I think taking away taking the emphasis off the individual and recognizing that um we they need an environment to flourish in if, if they want to flourish or if, if that's what is wanted of them and um because that, make, that makes perfect sense and you know we we create our environment we create the environment of others through the way we treat them and mm-hmm. so it's like you know something everyone needs to always be considering but um 
Yeah, no, I like it. Like, I like, love it as a model. Like, I don't know. Probably share the, share the same interpretations with you. Um, what What would be um, like your response to someone who, you know, if you try to describe your your whole, like, you know, your your health in general, like without actually um, identifying that you're even Maori, okay, but like, mm. um, just to put it back into context, though, and say you are Maori, right, mm. just for the sake of this. What would be your um, response, I guess, to someone who would say, "What do you mean by a spiritual health? Like, what's that about? You know, like, what is, mm. what would, what is your, um, you know, what are, have you been asked questions like that before? Like, have you? Um, I've been, I've been asked mm. like about my spirituality. Mm. Um, I think I'm not sure how how it sits with anyone really, but the way I interpret the interpret spirituality. Um, is it like a, a connection to a to a higher power or something? I think it's something what I what my brain starts to think of. But for me, my spirituality, if it does exist, um, would would probably relate to my um, my inner urge to just be one with you know the planet, but particularly the particularly like like nature and the earth and shit and you know rivers and stuff mm-hmm. but um beyond that all forms of life mm-hmm. i think i think that's what spirituality is but that's what it is to me anyway mm-hmm. like that that innate need to just well not need but desire to just be one with with the earth awesome yeah. awesome bro yeah what's yeah. it what does it mean to you um I guess f- for me, um, yeah, you know, it's it's quite hard to like really put your finger on it, like in particular mm-hmm. what it is. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, just just why do it to me, man? Is um, is just very, um, I guess like without without like even understanding um, that the basic constructs of my own culture, bro, like in the other elements of of Maori health. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I wouldn't even be able to like think in the realms of like what would I why do is I think you know like um, mm. so I guess like um, my interpretation of why do has come from my uh, knock on interpretation I guess of the other aspects of health you know mm. and and kind of yeah like I say kind of um, using that using what I what I believe to interpret as my why do bro my spirituality as being um, kind of I guess um, that force that's not there with me but. Um, we'll say it's, it's given me those energies it's given me the um, I don't know it's, it's, it's make me think a certain way with my dialogue some days in my own mm. head about you know like that type mm. of thing yeah, yeah, no, I, I feel, feel like that. I feel like that's my relationship with my wairua is, yeah. is kind of that you know um, mm. um, but the thing is though is that it's good it's good that first and foremost that I'm even interpreting my relationship with wairua because it must mean for me and, and how I interpret it my whole world my health it must mean that I've got my other stuff, uh, um, um, you know, in a pretty, pretty good neck mm. at the moment, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. so I guess, um, yeah, just in general context, there, like that's what it would mean to me. But uh, I guess in general, for the grand scheme of things, um, we, whenever I'm, uh, I'm even at discussion um, level about Taha Wairua, bro, I, um, I know myself that I must be quite comfortable about where I am um, mm. with, with Holder and Maori myself, you know. Mm. So, yeah, Ricardo. Oh yeah, bro. I I think I'll just take it back to one kupu that you said. Um, mm. like my fakaro on hauora Māori. Mm. So you mentioned the word balance. Mm. Um, and I find a lot of the time, bro, that like I can be caught giving more time to one aspect than mm. the other. Eh? So like, prime example, tatinana. Mm. You know, you go for a workout, you can be giving way more time to mm. um tatinana, tahinanaro, so your mental mm-hmm. um well being, than you are to like things like your Tahafana or your Tahawairua, um, so like you know your emotional and spiritual well-being. Um, so yeah, for me, like in approaching Hauora Māori bro, is to make sure that I do give that attention to um, those four aspects of our um, messengers. Um, tafare, tafare, yeah, tafare, 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 yeah, yeah. Um, and just acknowledging, you know, like not just like. Um, just the physical and the mental mm. but also the, the emotional and spiritual way mm. so I guess how do you do that eh? mm. how do you do that you mm. talk about all these things like I okay physical is just like movement and how you 
like mm-hmm. do that mm-hmm. you know um, and your mental is like your whakaro mm-hmm. behind things mm-hmm. uh, but then not many people want to talk about the emotional side mm-hmm. um, it's, it's, it's sort mm-hmm. of yeah it's sort mm-hmm. of um, a topic that it's, uh, every, everybody knows it's there mm-hmm. they just don't want to discuss it mm-hmm. um, so like yeah using a platform like this is, is primo bro mm-hmm. you know and um, before I carry on I just want to Acknowledge your grandfather and for the mahi that he did because that's going to be something that's um, left for generations to come. So, you know, like, also, I could have met your, your kurope, like, I really do, like, just hearing the whakaoro around the kakono, a seed, like, oh, I mean, have you ever tried, like, bloody growing a plant? It's, it's freaking hard. You know, like, um, you know, if you want a plant to grow, you don't change the seed, eh? you change the environment that it gets placed into. Um, so that helps the, um, the seed flush the best that it can be obviously you feed it and things like that you know um, but yeah just um, I really wish that I could have met your Koro bro and I'm sure he, like he's watching over you now you know and just saying that he's proud of you um, for doing this mahi and carrying on like I don't know bro like I got the sense like man when I was listening about your like Koro that he was like kind of like a pirate eh? you know he left behind all these clues for you to pick up and yeah. You know, like, kind of left a treasure map in his mahi. was, like, as, as a way of saying, like, one day, one of my moko will put this up and be like, hey, this is You'll how I'm going <laughs> to... Yeah. This is how I'm going to carry it on. Like, yeah. you know, so... Mm. In that sense, bro, your koro isn't dead. Eh? Like, mm. he's still alive in the mahi that he left behind. And um, that's the taha for me. Mm. You know, it's like having those things and connecting to that. Like, you know, like, papa and Purako and st- stories and actually, yeah. like, having, like physical manifestations mm-hmm. like your awa, uh, your moana, your whenua, mm. where you can go and tread yourself through where your ancestors once did and, you know, where they went to, like, uh, acknowledge their taha mm-hmm. so their connection with, um, you know, higher beings mm-hmm. or just connection with, like, others, eh? like, mm-hmm. you know, the environment, um, mm-hmm. and just things that give you purpose. Mm-hmm. Like, that, that's, for me, is what taha is, mm-hmm. is that the things that actually give you that purpose and they help you connect to uh, like others past, present, future, tinga, tinga, so on and so forth. Eh? It's awesome, bro. Yeah, um, and I was just thinking about it, man, and I was just like, man, my koro wasn't quite the pirate, but you know, he left, he left behind things for me to like pick up, you know, and so did my kuya. And the thing that she left with me, bro, that I'm grateful for is te reo Maui. Like, and it's um, reo take take, so it's um, reo from home. You know, that's what she left with me. That's the tongue that I um, treasure. I truly treasure is my real and for a long time I did put that on the shelf eh? mm. and it, it's because I was fucking up mm. you know you go into a new environment but you don't know how people are going to react mm. to you eh? like you know and it, w- it was like that yeah. you know, I went into a kura that had about a thousand students um, and I came from a kura where my class was about well the whole school was less than a hundred you know I went to class there was maybe six people you know, I went to high school and there's like 30 people. So, like, bro, straight away, there's nearly my whole school in one class. So, you know, I was just like, like a but, a, but a stage fright, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so it's hard to, like, get your voice out there, bro. Mm. You know, especially when you're so used to one world mm. and then you get introduced to another. Mm. But, like, I, I was just grateful, bro, that um, I had that realisation. Like, man, this, things like this need to change and they need to be spoken about. Mm. You know, and there's, there's, there might be someone who's listening to this and be like, oh, yo, you know, I'm going through that right now. Mm. You know, and just know that you're not alone. You weren't the, you weren't the first and you're probably not going to be the last, but, you know, what matters is that um, we make a change now. Eh? Like, you know, not later on, not yesterday. You make the change yesterday, not... Oh, yeah, so, you know, I don't know, maybe, bro, maybe I'm going off topic a bit, a bit here, but um, just taking it back to the kaupapa and looking at um, Hauru Māori is that... We do acknowledge um, Taha Tinana and Taha Hiningaro, um, but I sort of feel like you know, Taha, Taha Fano and Taha Wairu are not so much. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. after going through, oh, like even being brought up mm-hmm. in Te Awa Māori, bro, like um, for me, the most important part is the Taha Wairu, eh? and that's, good. that's how I give purpose to things, mm-hmm. I give meaning to things. Mm-hmm. My Taha Tinana is how I act it out, mm-hmm. and my Taha Hiningaro is the thought or the process behind mm-hmm. it. Eh? My taha is like who I do that with, you know, and that's for me, holistically. That's that's my whole way. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm not, that's that's not really that simple. Whanau far out, but yeah, so yeah, it goes yeah, into a bit yeah, more detail. Yeah. But that's like in a nutshell, you know. Mm. Like, that's how I view it, bro. Like, yeah. 
sort of thing. And and I'll, I've yeah, um, I've just learned a lot about you just as as a person, bro. There's um, uh, there's a lot of there's a lot I know about you from face value. Um, um, I'm not quite sure the the, the um, reasons as to how you've become such a uh, an awesome man, bro. Because you have, you know. Um, but thanks, bro. I um, appreciate that. To, you know that this is this is something that I hope the the listeners are, are, are kind of like picking up on now, um, a trend in this. But um, yeah, man, just like like acknowledging that, bro, and acknowledging your thought process on things. Um, like we've we've all just stated our, our interpretations of of how our whole Māori, our, our cultural views on knowledge. You know, mm-hmm. so within that, we've always had our own three um, uh, slightly different and in, in inter- uh, interpretations, I guess, and perspectives on it. That this is this is the crucial part, and I feel like needs to be highlighted after a Wainanga like this is that um, there wasn't any my way is a better way of thinking here, or there wasn't yeah. a, there wasn't it's nothing to do with that, bro. Um, because at the end of the day, we're talking about it in general to carpen on the concept behind it, but I mean we're not going to be um, affecting each other's carpen on the right headspace if we're not kind of acknowledging how you think and your views and all that type of thing. Okay, so like. Mm. Can we see like the kind of general theme of the conversation here now is um, mm-hmm. is kind of almost just trying to like encourage the the listener if they are listening to this corridor in particular is just yeah like understanding that you know there are those perspectives there are those thought processes there there are those acknowledgements that have individual value or individual sentiment towards certain things you know and that's I guess that's the reason why some people are the way they are or whatever way you want to categorize it that type of thing you know but um i guess just just again importantly is being able to just listen to you bro like really listen to your f- philosophical breakdown of it mm-hmm. metaphorical breakdown your perspective breakdown on it and, and actually kind of now a lot of the way that i see you interact with just a fellow to- toyota bro that we, we have around here i can kind of just see how your respect patterns towards them and your relationships with them are channeled now through your your other aspects of your well-being if you get me you know so yeah. it's just a very um you know, uh, if i'm going a little bit uh oh, no, no. But, but, but into that myself but i guess I'm, I'm just trying to all i'm trying to do with with um with something like that bro is just um just just yeah again we're, we're trying to emphasize the the, the um, reciprocal nature of conversation here but it's not bad either to just talk about these things out loud, like talk about the acknowledgements that yeah. I'm personally feeling towards your conversation at the moment because um, that's those respect levels and patterns and stuff can be built, you know, like like even furthermore or stronger between individuals with that, you know, um, uplifting towards other people, positivity, um, understanding, understanding is a huge one, you know, communication, all that, all these things that, um, again, you know, like um, to... I can just carry on and tell me if you don't mind, but just again, these things that um, I feel like I could, we could, we can invite anyone in, in here that's watching this at the moment, and they could talk to us, like talk, yeah, or talk to us normally, and you know, the thing is, though, is how many people would would genuinely give that time for us, um, and and then like go out and just almost kind of drift back and fall back into that system again where. Um, they're slagging people, or they're gonna, you know what I mean? Like, it just kind of, I'm talking about that type of thing. So, um, you know, like this, this isn't, um, again, a platform where um, it's not a, um, we're gonna discuss and find out who's, who's, whose perspective is better mm-hmm. on certain things. This is just the natural beauty of conversation. Like, I'm learning more about you guys just through concepts ourselves that we all have an understanding on, but it's just our interpretation of it. You know, and and the respect that I can build from you as a person is kind of, you know, if they behave a certain way, if they think a certain way, it's just like, call why quit, no why quit again. Mm-hmm. You know, like who you are, where you're from, the things that that person might have been through. And again, I know it might sound a little bit repetitive, but it's just the simple, the the very very simple concept of yes, you know, if you plant a flower seed in the in a flower bed, bro, um, you don't go off and just neglect that seed for, for 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 months and months upon end and just expect it to blossom into a big sunflower you know um taha tinana taha heningaro taha wairua and taha whanau uh, are those elements within our immediate environment or the the immediate environment around that flower bed that are essentially and ultimately going to influence the growth of that seed you know and so i'm just trying to contextualize this for people in terms of 
just be careful the way you communicate with people you know like be care- be careful and be respectful of the interactions you have with people every day you know the the energies and be be able to understand that the energy that you hold as a person is very powerful you know mm-hmm. like uh, a couple of words that you say to someone's day is like a very it's a very very powerful thing bro you know like um people don't really realize it i don't think a lot of the time so mm-hmm. just say stuff for the sake of saying it and regardless of it being interpreted or whatever way it is interpreted or whether it being serious or non-serious it's just it's um it's uh, it just shouldn't you know let's just move on from that stuff a little bit guys you know um uh, i've i've been so so lucky to like honestly just bump into people like you guys through uni and through friends and i'm just thinking to myself i would rather sit here for hours and hours and just whining about things that matter or, or you, you, you know and yeah. things like things like just real stuff with real people and real bonds and real realness bro just yeah. realness you know just let's just bring that raw authenticity back to it again and uh, make it the norm again the norm you know um and, and you know like hopefully these these types of corridor are things that people can can like attach to bro you know um they can they can relate to some of these corridor that we've had today and from there i hope you know, if, if there's one thing in that enlightenment feeling that I felt within my education journey, bro, last year with Amory's paper, um, if this corridor for car or, or anything um, related to this channel is even um, in whatever way it may be, indirect or direct or whatever it may be, it's uh, the intention here is to um, provide this this platform where people, yeah, like I say, can relate to things, but also. Um, just enc- like encourage that dialect, bro. You know, encourage mm-hmm. the dialect. Um, um, I, I guess the dialect around important things that I feel myself again, like from what I've noticed, what's happening outside the door, I feel like are neglected a bit too much. Yeah. And 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 are kind of the reasons why I'm getting frustrated every time I flip a book. Um, in 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 my public health papers or whatever, and I'm seeing. Um, in particular, Maori and Pacifica disparities every single year being at the lower deciles of all the all the stats, you know. And I'm thinking to myself, like, um, there's nothing, there's not, there's no society is just kind of like staying in this 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 section here, or it's kind of just getting worse and gravitating towards this direction here. But um, until we kind of let this great acceleration and this massive kind of um, crazy world that we've just like you know with technology and all this stuff has developed. Um, um, we need to just kind of like chill out on that buzz I think for a little bit go back to humanity's sake and kind of like mm-hmm. how we can survive as people and just forget fucking about technology and stuff like that for just two minutes Good. you know um, so yeah like I say if, if, that, if this platform here can, can reach people to that to that level and then um, offer you that kind of um, insight into how um, you can yourself you know um uh, broaden your own perspectives maybe a little bit um, and reach further understanding with different people you know and and I was able to do that a lot as a student last year and because of that I was able to find something I was passionate about link myself to something find security within that regard or that or that um, subject or whatever it was that I was doing and and there was a very enlightening period I went through that time last year bro when I when that hit me you know when it when it kind of really set in and I was just like oh man, I can, I can, I get it now, you know, like, I really get it, um, I get that I'm looking at things a different way, I see, see it a little bit, happen a little bit differently, but, um, uh, again, like, to, to, to bring this perspective to these people that, um, may benefit a little bit from this, bro, I think this could be, like, a big, um, platform for people, and all I want to do is just, like, try and find people that enlightening experience that potentially I may have gone through, mm. um, something that I can't, like, necessarily put my finger on that emotion or whatever it may be but through whanang and through things like this i hope that people can feel that same sense of uh enlightenment bro or whatever it was that happened to me last year i'm still i'm still trying to make sense of it at the moment but you know um and and if if, if this something like a platform like this can do that for people bro then um i'm sure my kuro would you know Buy me a bottle of coke and a, a you know chocolate bar or something. No, I'm just kidding. But you know, I think he really would um, just be happy knowing that his 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 um, tongue has been passed on the right way. I think you know, or the way that he would have um, liked it interpreted. And as a student, um, 
um, who, who likes to encourage and talk about and emphasize critical thinking all the time. Um, uh, I feel like, yeah, like you're, you're able to, um, you know, find out who you are, where you're from, be able to think about things critically and break them down in society, um, learn what it is, like find what it is like health means to you, um, and, and try and like find a pattern within all those things that I'll just name there and try and find it as like what it is your journey might be through, through that process, you know, um, but unfortunately in today's society, there's just people who have succumbed to that feeling of, I can't really like talk this real shit with my friends though, because they're just going to look at me like I'm an absolute idiot, you know, I can't talk about what I'm passionate about because, oh bro, you're fill in the blanks, you know, like it's, it's that type of society we live in now. Um, let's use this as a platform to, you know, to eradicate that stuff. Let, you know, yeah. You need to talk about these things, eh, bro? Um, yeah, there was just um, one other thing I wanted to talk about, bro, but I was still way back. Mm. Um, it was just like um, following your heart, eh? Mm. You know, like, um, that's one thing my uncle, um, uncle Wong said to me. Mm. You know, like, if it's not on your heart, boy, don't follow it because um, you're going to do it half assed, eh? You're not going to be happy. Um, if you do something that's not on your heart, you know, at the time, bro, I was just like, man, you're like Master Ugwe of Kung Fu Panda, you know, like, he says one of those wise lines, but yeah, no, the reality is, bro, is that it, it did hit me like that, is like, if I had to choose between following my heart and following my mind, it would have to be my heart, and this is the reason why, is that your heart won't doubt you twice, hey, because if you think about it, if you think about doing something, you're going to all these other fakaro you know, enter into your mind. Mm -hmm. um, whereas following your heart, you know, even if you're wrong, it's like staying true to who you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I guess for me, bro, that's what it. That's that's what it's like being here at university. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. just um, like bro, I try to do things like that. I thought we could, mm -hmm. thought we good for me. Thought was gonna get me out of this um, mama. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until I actually tuned in to heart or my narco is that you know it's telling me oh, like I'm hurt go home like help me heal mm -hmm. so that I can help you with your future mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. we have the same at, at home uh, back at the kura and um kia mō hio kō aio nō hia aio hāri ana hau ki hia so the first bit is kō aio like you gotta get that right first though. it's the foundation for like a lot of things uh, nō hia aio so where do you come from? Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, like like I said, going back home, you keep visiting, revisiting. Okay, what do you fellas need to be done? Or what do you need of me? Mm -hmm. And then from those two things, it's like, this is what I believe, bro, is that you'll know where you're going to go. Because mm -hmm. you'll know what, what's on your heart. Eh? Like It's not like, oh, yo, I'm going to chase money. And it's just like, man, if you end up chasing that stuff, eh, and at the end of life, you're going to be with all this money and Gonna have who's, no, yeah. who's there to yep. fill your house exactly. who's there to share the other home and share the warmth you know, with you yep. whereas if you chain, chase your heart at the end of your life you're going to have memories mm -hmm. you know, and you give those things to people and that's and I stress that the importance of that bro is because um, just too many times I feel like rangatahi mm -hmm. don't have those kōrero with their kuia their kraua their kaumatu or auntie uncle whoever right. you know, and really just ask them you know like why are you the way you are? Or co like, you know, tell me more about your childhood. Or why do you do things that way? You know, like, why don't you do it like this? Or how come we're different? How come we're different to those families? You know, and ask those questions, the hard questions. You know, and like, uh, it might stimulate some whakaaro around that, bro, where people are like, man, yeah, I do need to go and have those kōrero. Because mm -hmm. for me, like, when I lost my name, I was like, man, at least she left me with my real, but... I, I really do wish that I had asked her about, you know, what was it like for you growing up? You mm. know, how did you meet Koro? Mm. And like, you know, what was mum really like? You know, mm. oh, she always does love him. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean, bro? Oh, yeah, you know, shout out to my mum. I love you, mum. Um, <laughs> just thought I'd get that out there. You know, and don't be afraid to say that, man. Like, mm. like I said, you're more feminine than you'd like to believe. Mm. But, you know, it's, mm. it's never the wrong thing to tell someone that you love them. That's my fuck mm. mm. um, Too much, bro. Too much. Um, yeah, 
this is this has been a um, yeah just a a topic, bro. That's been yeah, um, as I said from the beginning, just a very um, sentimental topic for me and something I've been um, yeah, I'd like to say quite quite passionate about and um, given a lot of time to a lot in the last year or so, and and um, I guess yeah. It's just been cool because I'm trying to, I guess, I preach this concept myself on, on kind of like what's, not preach a concept, I guess, I've just um, articulate a concept that's happened for me that's worked with me internally, you know, and I guess like how, again, like I say, I'm trying to find and see if people can find that same fulfillment as I did, you know, <laughs> I guess like, um, it's just been, it's just been awesome because, um, you know, the, just the, the reality of just putting together a platform like this and then having and making this a reality bro you know like uh something that's going to be projected out onto a platform with hundreds or thousands or whatever you know platform you you, you have um um these are just times that i often um i often feel myself that um i'm kind of going through my own thing my own buzz during any time and i'm kind of going through my own uh, energies and stuff that I just don't talk to my friends about, you know, um, and, and I guess like, uh, um, I've just noticed that those people who have given me time in the past to, to talk about these beautiful experiences and, and pathways or something maybe that I, I may have experienced or whatever it was along the way, um, have just become strongly relatable to a lot of people and I guess, um, to actually put all of this into fruition was, um, you know, like actually getting the microphones, getting everything sus, but um, it's just I just I just got to go back to it again, bro, and just say like thank you again for both of you because the, all I'm trying to get at here is this massive idea that you know has just had such a big accumulation period within my own head, you know, is yeah. now just at a table in front of us, you know. So, um, um, I I hope that the the, the listeners here, you know, today have, have actually um, been able to take a couple of tokens from from this corridor today. Um, I really, 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 really do hope that um, this can can reach some of the broader audience out there, um, and I guess just just in relation to everything that we've discussed and the general tone of and the trajectory of where where I want to go with something like a channel like this. Um, once this is posted on Facebook and and whatnot, um, you know, that like Monday morning and, and and everything, and this is going to be a reoccurring thing. Um, I just want to just reiterate to, to any of the listeners out there and, and um, anyone who's given this, this, this a bit of time, you know, I just want to um, let everyone know, let my whole platform know and, and I guess hopefully the same for you guys maybe, but um, really just encourage this as being a non-judgmental, um, a non-selective um, uh, or categorative like type of environment here, you know. Mm -hmm. um, um, these are thoughts. Um, these are this is a wānanga that we've had that we don't necessarily have to chuck out into public, but just as Tauera, um we I guess have found a mutual interest in terms of like we could do something to help out some people, you know. Mm. And it's just awesome to have um, friends like that, you know, I to come back here and be able to rely on people like you. So um, I just hope that the same um, friends and, and family and whatnot watching this as well can just show this content the same respect. Um, um, again, we've reiterated enough um, throughout this whole um, podcast here. It's not a judgmental zone. We we just listen to each other. We call it all. We want right. Um So if there are you know certain elements of this corridor that have hit home with you or that you just don't understand at all, um, let's just all show each other respect and replies, questions, and everything here, just to mm -hmm. say. Um, that was good, that was bad, or whatever it may be, and move forward from here. The content and trajectory going forward is, um, with future guests and whatnot, is always establishing core waikwe and more waikwe. But where we will go with this channel um, is, yeah, we'll just start talking current topics. We'll start talking things, public health matters, um, politics, society, ideals, education, and just bring some light to, to I guess, you know, um, people who are willing to have these conversations um, mm -hmm. with things, you know, don't be whakama, don't be, don't be um, shy or don't, you know, um, 
I think I make an all right cup of tea as well, you know. So, <laughs> so I just like to think. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah but um, yeah, just just really um, just wanted to just yeah, you can acknowledge that boys, but um, I just feel like that was a very important message just to leave at the end there of, of um, the step has been made now. You know, yeah. the the content is out there, and now um, I will ask just with the nature of this content going forward that it's just respected as just as much as the court law that happened within the video itself, you know, so um, if we can just acknowledge that and um, from there we can we can go into the comments mm. section or do whatever you need to do from there. Um, let's just show some respect towards you, some people, you know. Absolutely, bro. No, 100% agree, yeah. and I mean, um, I, I guess the good thing about this being the first one is, bro, like, um, it's just the, you know, it's the first. Like, and this kid's probably, you know, like, I'm not saying that I said everything correctly, really. Mm. But it was it was what, what uh, I thought needed to be said, um, oh. and I, I, I feel the same from both of you. Mm. Like, you know, if you got something that you need to say, then just get it out there, because mm. um, I swear there'll be someone who can relate to a lot of the cordial. Mm. Um, and just just having like a platform there to relate to, mm. and not just um, being by yourself. Mm -hmm. I, I guess, bro. Like for me, it's like that was a big one. Mm. And yeah, just thank you once again, bro, for. Uh, me to come up on here and just spit some truth, I suppose. Yeah, I was gonna use another kapu, but yeah, um, yeah, my real, real privilege, bro. And just hearing your fakaro, um, your ideas, um, and just your heart, eh, and like this kind of mahi. And I'm really looking forward to <coughs> seeing where uh, this kai papa of the kakama goes. You know, it's, it's, it's not just like kuru of mahi now, you know, you're making it like a reality. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, mummy, kia koe, bro. Awesome, awesome. Um, cool, we'll wrap it up there. Yeah. Um, come on, boys, awesome. <laughs> okay, um, oh, shit. Um, bro, I was honestly the whole time, the whole time there was like that up there. I was yeah. like, bro, what if that thing's not even recording? <laughs> 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 I was like, we just, but all these, this fire, and it's not even recording. And, uh, <laughs> And I've noticed too, I was like, what was the thing that was stopping me from, um, from recording, um, uh, from, um, uh, charging to record as well. And it was the fact I left my charger in Aroha's, um, but like down in Fadi for the week. Oh, okay. So, um, so, I remember coming back and the first thing I said I needed to do when I came in was good, make right. sure you, yeah, make sure you got that at least. Us. And then I just thought about it. And I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sorry. but 20%, nah, should be all good. Like, nah, nah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's things that you learn, 